I'm delighted to be joined by Promoter Richard Lovday to kick off the press conference where we talk a little bit about what's to come on Saturday the 25th of February. Rich, firstly, how are you doing? I'm, I'm doing very well. What I will ask, I know two words mentioned it, whilst the people up here talking, can people watching or spectating please remain silent whilst we're talking up here? It's being videoed, it's going to be uh, streamed out, so we need to have the noise to a minimum. Everyone talking, openly now. Thank you. So let's talk about the show. You've been doing quite a lot of prize fights recently, and it's another prize fight that you're going to be doing for the 25th of February. But looking at the fight card, it's a big undercard as well. So talk us through the process of getting ready for this show. Jeez, this, this show's been in preparation for a long time. I don't just pluck up a date out there. You know, this has been planned since summer of last year. And now we're, we're close, you know. Uh, as you said, we've got the eight-man heavyweight tournament. Heavyweights are the worst people to deal with. They're the hardest people to deal with. Uh, especially when you get eight good fighters. Because good fighters... Um, they, they, some of them don't like the challenge. Looking at some of the names on the list, fans will probably be familiar with a couple of names having fought on tank promotions before, but what can you tell us about some of the names on there that are probably going a little bit under the radar or unknown? Yeah, there's, there's people, I mean, there's one man here tonight, uh, everyone's raving about John Shaw. Oh, you know, um, but there's people, there's people that haven't even been mentioned, and I can tell you now, you want to watch it, you'll find that today on the 25th of February, but obviously people, you've got quality, you know, we all know about John Shaw, you know, we, everyone knows about Mo Cargo, I mean, the man's 53 years old, it's incredible that he's competing at this age, he's got the body of a 23 year old, but, um, you know, there's six other men in there, and, uh, you know, we've had other guys that have withdrawn through uh, genuine reasons, we've had a bereavement, we've had guys break their hands, and when, when lads at this level are training hard, they do sustain injuries, so I'm going to try my hardest to refrain from exposing people. And I'm delighted to say that we will be doing the draw for the eight-man heavyweight prize fight tonight, as well as talking to a few of those competitors. Let's have a look at the undercard then, we've got Alfie Connolly fighting for a title. I believe it's been a little bit difficult to match up, talk us through that. It's difficult to match up a lad when he was 15, 16, knocking out adults, you know, it's very difficult, but I've got a guy from Liverpool, he's coming down, and um, yeah, he's, he's a talent, and uh, we've got his coach in the, in the background there, and I'm looking forward to see what he can do, he's a former champion, um, he's preparing for his home show, which is I think a few weeks after, so it's all, it's all a building block, but the kid's got a bright future. Look, an eight-man prize fighter on this show as well, and I've counted his six titles that we see on the undercard, as well as a normal undercard as well. Let's have a look at these other title fights. We've got Ben Sturt making a return against Bobby Collard. What can you tell us about that? We've got, yeah, obviously, um, you know, Bobby's the swindler man, and uh, you know, he's well known around around here. Ben, you know, come on the scene, bang at the blue, and he's got a massive following. He, you know, we were just chatting off camera earlier, and you know, he. He came in as probably the underdog, and um, he, he, you know, now look at him. He's fighting for titles. He's he's got another title fight after this. He's rolling back the years, but you know, Bobby's Bobby's putting the work, and that's going to be. Do not take your eyes off that fight. It's, it could steal the show. And then looking towards another fight, Ben White. He come on the scene with a big crowd as well, and he's going to take on a, a former amateur fighter as well, in Callum Wells. And ben White, I think he's he's sold like a hundred tickets that night, so. Um, you know, he's, he's facing another Swindon man, you know, listen, these people from Swindon, we need to get behind our, our boxes, you know, but um, we've got a lot of people travelling, we've got over 700 people travelling into Swindon on the 25th of February. And just quickly, scanning over these last three title fights, we've got young Archie Austin from Southampton fighting, we've got Jordan Graham, who's a tank promotions sort of veteran, he's, he's been fighting all the time on these shows at the moment, and then you've got young Victoria Perkins, what can you tell me about those three fighters? So Victoria is probably, she's going to become a professional boxer. She's, um, in my opinion, she's the best unlicensed fighter in the country. To match her is very difficult. She's only just turned 19 years old. Um, she's, a, she's a talent, but I've got a lady from the Arlo White, an MMA fighter. Um, yeah, so it, it's, it makes my job hard. When people are a good level, it makes it hard to match them up. But it, one thing for sure, if a boxer gets injured or they withdraw or they just don't fancy it. There's one thing I'm good at, and that's sorting out how I get a replacement. And young Archie Austin, also back on the show fighting. What can you tell us about him? So Archie is our cruiserweight champion. He won it as a novice. Uh, he's stepping up to a fight for the novice heavyweight. 
Um, but news off the press, unfortunately, Dan Curtin is injured. So um, Archie is actually fighting a, another man on the card. I don't want to announce it right now because it's unfair, but Archie Austin will be fighting alongside his brother uh, on the 25th of February, but um, Archie's opponent is already sorted. And then just lastly, Jordan Graham, the kind of a regular on tag promotions. Won the title on the last show, I believe. What can you tell us about his next matchup? So his next matchup, I've seen Jordan quite a bit recently. It's quite bizarre. I've seen him around, you know, but um, he, uh, he's hurt his ankle playing football. I don't know why. I think he thinks he's Liam Smith playing football. But, but listen, he's, he's, he's the back of the champion. He's, he's quite a lad. Coming from Swansea, from the same gym as Victoria Perkins. He's coming a long way to fight. And, um, you know, one thing Jordan, Jordan can box. And, you know, and uh, once he sorts his foot out, he's, um, I'm sure he'll be fine on all, all cylinders. Before we go ahead and talk to some of the fighters, tell us about how tickets are going at the moment. Tickets are good. I mean, I've literally, people want more. I haven't got any, so, you know, we, we've got no VIP as it stands. Uh, so that's sold out. We've only got limited balcony tickets available and a very few silver seats in. Possibly after this evening, I might have a handful of standards, but um, it's going to be a busy night in the Mecca. It's going to be very busy. As Rich mentioned there, it's going to be a busy night in the Mecca on Saturday the 25th of February. A massive thank you as well on the press conference to Power Lounge for hosting. Big round of applause for you, Professor Rich Richard. <laughs>